Hey, it's Dr. Amanda with Street Smile Solutions, streetsmilesolutions.com, and today we're going to talk a little bit more about OrthoFX, and I know I haven't made that much content about them for a while, um, but lately I've actually had the experience to use them with some of my clients, so it's been a first, you know, besides talking to their owners and like hearing about this theoretical, I've actually gone into their dashboard and had a chance to play with it, and I'm not impressed at all. <laughs> I'm just laughing because all this hype and all this advertising and all these investors talking about it and i was so excited i really really was expecting big things because i know two of the ceos or the owners of the company were the ones that helped to start up invisalign so i was expecting it to be freaking amazing and it's so bad like so bad like embarrassingly bad it's worse than almost everything that's out there i mean I was blown away to how, like, <laughs> and just it was laughably bad, okay? And I'm sorry, this is just my opinion. I've worked with tons of aligner companies over the last two decades and seen tons of dashboards. And yes, it might just be their dashboard is primitive and sloppy, but it's really unacceptable because they've been around for many, many, many years. It's not like they just launched yesterday. And y'all know I helped to start SDC. SDC was way more advanced than this. And that was seven years ago. And that was even the short time I was with them. So I'm <laughs> just laughing. Um, and, and given that their lab fee is almost the same as Invisalign's and they only give you three years um, revisions refinements is, uh, why? Why would you want to do this? I don't get it. You think you're going to get patience? I don't know. I mean, you got patience if you're a general or PD. I don't know. Um, that that's all i gotta say but um i mean it's just so janky is what i gotta that's just my word their their dashboard is janky it's almost it's it's not that it's hard to use it's just graphics are horrible and it doesn't have the functionality the basic functionality that i even use with my white label company which is global they have way better occlusion way better setups way better graphics and and, and even i've heard that their their bite turbos are really not they're just Palatal engagements, and if you put paddle, it was kind of like clear correct, but hey, clear correct's been, uh, you know, whatever, but at least they're cheaper, right? Um, they do not have the ability for you to see occlusion, which for me is huge. If I can't see the initial and vinyl articulation, you're out. I will never use your company. Uh, I can even do that on Sure Smile, I can do it on clear correct now. They have a good one now, they finally fixed that issue. Um, Global has it. I mean, I don't know that there's any aligner company that doesn't have that functionality at this point. It is so important to double check your initial and final articulation. This is just basic ortho 101. And considering this company is started by orthodontists, it's like, really, what are you guys smoking? It's just, I'm just, I'm ranting because it's just laughably bad. And I'm, I was actually really disappointed. I was so excited for this company and now I'm just laughing. But anyways, uh, I hate it. I, I, I mean, if, if doctors want to use it, so be it. But uh, I mean, I, I don't think it's a waste of money. This company will not survive. No one's going to buy this company out. That's just my opinion. I'm allowed to give my opinion. That's that's how life is. So, hey, OrthoFX, prove me wrong. Change everything, and we'll see what you can do. All right, thanks.